Well, it seems like things are heating up for old Donald Trump down in Fulton County, Georgia. You remember, that's where Donald Trump said, look, just find me 11,780 votes and corruptly declare me the winner. Well, Fulton County District Attorney Fawny Willis seems to have a little something to say about that. Let's talk about it. Because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. Well, it looks like the Georgia State criminal investigation of Donald Trump is gathering steam. It's being conducted by longtime Georgia State prosecutor, who is now the elected district attorney in Fulton County, Georgia, Fawny Willis. Here's the new reporting in the New York Times. Headline, up to 50 subpoenas expected as a grand jury begins Trump inquiry. And that article begins, as many as 50 witnesses are expected to be subpoenaed by a special grand jury that will begin hearing testimony next week in the criminal investigation into whether former President Donald J. Trump and his allies violated Georgia laws in their efforts to overturn his 2020 election loss in the state. The process, which is set to begin on Wednesday, is likely to last weeks bringing dozens of subpoenaed witnesses, both well-known and obscure, into a downtown Atlanta courthouse bustling with extra security because of threats directed at the staff of the Fulton County District Attorney, Fawny T. Willis. Ms. Willis, a Democrat, has said in the past that Mr. Trump created a threatening atmosphere with his open criticism of the investigation. At a rally in January, he described the Georgia investigation and others focusing on him as prosecutorial misconduct at the highest levels that was being conducted by vicious, horrible people. Ms. Willis has had staffers on the case outfitted with bulletproof vests. But in an interview on Thursday, she insisted the investigation was not personal. I'm not taking on a former president, Ms. Willis said. We're not adversaries. I don't know him personally. He does not know me personally. She added that she was treating Mr. Trump as she would anyone else. I have a duty to investigate, she said. And in my mind, it's not of much consequence what title they wore. Ms. Willis is weighing racketeering, among other potential charges. Her investigators are also reviewing the slate of fake electors that Republicans created in a desperate attempt to circumvent the state voters. Mr. Raffensperger, remember him? That's the one Donald Trump tried to bully, coerce, threaten into just giving him another 11,000 plus votes corruptly. Mr. Raffensperger confirmed on Friday that he and Gabriel Sterling, the chief operating officer for the Secretary of State's office, had received subpoenas and planned to appear soon before the panel. Two Democratic state senators, Jen Jordan and Elena Parent, said on Thursday that they had received subpoenas to appear. Both senators serve on a judiciary subcommittee that heard Rudolph Giuliani, Mr. Trump's lawyer at the time, give a presentation in December 2020 in which he laid out a number of baseless allegations of electoral fraud. But Ms. Willis said, it's difficult to talk about timelines. I don't know how many games folks are going to play, she said. I don't know how many times we're going to have to fight someone just to get them to come speak to the grand jury and tell the truth. And there could be delays for those reasons. In a perfect world, I'd be done in the next 60 to 90 days but I live in an imperfect world. And that New York Times article goes on. I'll put a link to that article in the description of this video. Here are a few things to keep in mind. First of all, a grand jury in Fulton County, Georgia has already heard from a bunch of witnesses. I think the reporting was more than 30 witnesses 
Those are the witnesses who were cooperative, who came in voluntarily and appeared before a grand jury. But in the somewhat unusual procedures in Georgia, they needed to impanel a special grand jury to have enforceable subpoenas issued. That's what DA Fawny Willis has now done, and she's issued more than 50 subpoenas to characters like Brad Raffensperger, and her investigation is now moving forward. Second point, there's a deep dive analysis that was done by the Brookings Institute regarding the crimes that Donald Trump committed in violation of Georgia state law based on even the available evidence that has been publicly reported. And I highly recommend reading the Brookings Institute study. I will put a link to that also in the description of this video. But their conclusion after analysis that runs more than 100 pages is that Donald Trump likely committed as many as a dozen, a dozen crimes in violation of Georgia state laws, both misdemeanors and felonies. And then the third and final point, Donald Trump is a pathetic bully. He may be one of the weakest people on earth. You heard in the reporting how he was threatening, let's call it what it is, prosecutors who had the nerve to investigate him for his crimes. Part of the fallout from that is District Attorney Willis had to outfit her team with bulletproof vests. You know, Donald Trump is a pathetic bully who needs to be toppled. And the more you look at the determination of District Attorney Fawny Willis, graduate of Howard University and Emory School of Law, you know, she may be just the person to do it. Because it sure seems like to District Attorney Willis, justice matters. Stay tuned to this story, friends, and stay safe, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.